law take its course uh, in an appropriate way? And I leave that for the Minister to consider. Mr Chair. Um, I call the Honourable Christopher. Ford. Thank you, Mr Chair. Just um, a, a quick uh, response to a couple of points raised um, by the Honourable um, Paul Goldsmith and Brett Hudson. Um, of course, Mr Hudson, we will continue uh, to be disciplined, as you have said uh, in your very truthful statement uh, just seconds ago, um, to be disciplined. Um, can I just also um, uh, note that for a, for, a, for a while I thought peace had broken out um, until uh, Mr Goldsmith got uh, two minutes and 45 seconds uh, into uh, his speech, because I think he actually gave, uh, up until that point, uh, a pretty good um, a synopsis of what exactly uh, the part three is hoping to achieve uh, in the wider context. So um, I, I won't uh, try and uh, explain it because I actually think he did a pretty good job of it himself. Um, to Mr Hudson, the question around um, uh, behavioural undertakings, um, that wasn't um, considered within the scope of this bill, but it's still something that uh, the government uh, would like to investigate and do some of the policy work. And so while um, part three allows um, the Commerce Commission to uh, look into structural undertakings, uh, as, as he will know. Um, we believe that more work needs to be done around behavioural undertakings for that uh, uh, to be legislated for. So hopefully that will answer that question. Mr Chair, my members have gone. My fellow colleagues have gone to sleep, Mr Chair. I've got to sleep. Uh, I've got to sleep. Call, sorry. Time ago. I call Brett Hudson. Thank you, Mr Chair. Well, look, I want to extend, you know, in, this, in the sense of...